Welcome to the H Feast. If you guys guess Hogwarts Feast or Harry Potter Feast, come on through. Let me show you how easy it is to make the best Hogwarts Harry Potter Feast ever. Don't blame. No time to waste. I got 15 pieces of drumstick here. To this, three tablespoons of olive oil, one and a half tablespoon of salt, tablespoon of pepper, half tablespoon of white pepper, tablespoon of onion powder, half a tablespoon of dry thyme, half a tablespoon of ground ginger, half a tablespoon of chili powder, two tablespoons of paprika, half a tablespoon of dry mustard, half a tablespoon of garlic salt. Now to do it, take that beautiful clean hand of yours, mix that in very well. Next marinade, I got two racks of lamb here. I'm gonna go in with two tablespoons of olive oil, a tablespoon of salt on both, pepper, that one, two, three, four, five cloves, oh not cloves, five sticks of rosemary, a tablespoon of onion powder on both, one tablespoon of paprika on both, and a teaspoon of cumin on both. Not to do it guys. Take this beautiful lamb, get it rubbed in guys. Eight pieces of pork chops here. I'm gonna do three tablespoons of olive oil going in, one and a half tablespoon of salt, a tablespoon of pepper, a tablespoon of onion powder, a half tablespoon of white pepper. I'm gonna let this marinate for about two to three hours minimum as well. Three pots of boiling water here. So one pot's going to be Red roasted potatoes. We got rusted potatoes here. I'm gonna do mash. Ow! Careful, guys. Lastly, corn the cob. I'm just gonna boil this up. Next veggie. We got carrots, nice and peeled and clean. So, two tablespoons of olive oil to this. Carrots, tablespoon of salt, tablespoon of pepper. Mix this in. So, I take this, dump into a larger tray, guys. Take my boiled skin, red skin potato here. I'm gonna throw it up to the other side. We're gonna shoot this up with some good doses of high quality olive oil. Tablespoon <laughs> of salt, tablespoon of pepper, tablespoon of paprika. You know what? More than a tablespoon of paprika. I'm just gonna start saying that. <laughs> a teaspoon of oregano, a teaspoon of dry basil. Take two rice scooper. <laughs> you need the rice scooper, guys. If you don't have the rice scooper, this recipe is not going to come out well for you. <laughs> Into the oven at 420 for about 20 to 25 minutes. Rusted potatoes nice and boiled. Two tablespoons of butter going in. Take your masher. Just stick it in there. <laughs> tablespoon of salt. Tablespoon of onion powder. Good old whipping cream. Let's go two tablespoons of that. <laughs> Just because I only have two tablespoons in this. Two tablespoons of good old sour cream. Mash it up. Next, chicken gravy. So I don't have beef stock, I only have chicken stock, so chicken gravy it is. So two tablespoons of butter here. Once I got the butter to melt, two tablespoons of flour going in. Cook this flour in with the butter. Half a tablespoon of white pepper. Half a tablespoon of onion powder. Mix this in. Lastly, taste this. That's delicious. Just add some salt. Taste and adjust for your liking. All right, next on the menu, orzo. This orzo is just gonna be a bed for our pork chops here. Orzo nice and cooked, nothing to it. I'm just gonna do two tablespoons of olive oil to this. A little salt, and just mix this in. Pumpkin pasties, so I got two cups of flour here. I got half a cup of cold butter I'm gonna shred in. So we're making a short crust pastry for our pumpkin pasties. Break this butter in with this flour here. Once you got that good rock butter, I got half a cup of cold water. Added in, and all we're looking for, guys, we're making short crust dough. It's a nice soft dough. Always look for a nice soft dough when you're making short crust pastry. Come on, we know this. Once you got a nice soft dough, we're gonna let this sit in the fridge for 30 minutes before we start working with it. Pumpkin pasties. So, flour on the counter. Take your beautiful short crust dough. Take your wooden, what is it called? Rolling pin? <laughs> Keep forgetting, guys. I have no time to remember. I need a guy or a girl to be beside me to finish my sentence when I cook. <laughs> Are you that person, guys? I'll hire you. All I need you to do is finish my sentence. Finish my what? There you go. You're hired. <laughs> okay. Got this nice and rolled out. Take your favorite bowl or favorite bowl size. Got all the rounds nice and form. All I'm gonna do got pumpkin pie filling here, which I'm just gonna throw a dollop in, fold it over, take your fork, bam, oh yeah, it spilled through. You know what? It's okay. 
I'm okay with that. You guys okay with that? Doesn't have to be perfect, guys. I'm not a baker, okay? <laughs> that's a, that's a really good excuse right there. All right, here it is, bam. All right, once you got your pasties nice and rolled out and form, all I'm gonna do, cut some X's on them. And you egg wash the top. Nice, simple, and easy. Once you got them nice and egg washed, into the oven at 420 for about 15 to 20 minutes. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Best passy ever. <laughs> All right, chicken going in. 450 for 20 to 25 minutes. Start on our lamb too. So I got three tablespoons of olive oil into this hot pan here. Take our lamb and we're gonna sear it. Sear both sides guys for about five minutes. I got this nice and seared. I'm just gonna throw into my baking sheet here. Next, I'm gonna take some tin foil. I'm gonna tin foil these bones here because I don't want these bones to burn in the baking process. Take my rack of lamb, toss it in for about 15 to 20 minutes as well at 450. And lastly, let's fry up our pork chop. So, take your pork chop, throw them into the pool. <laughs> Not the pool, just the kiddie pool, guys. Pan searing frying time for this. Five minutes on each side, 10 minutes total. Pork chop sauce, so in this pan, one tablespoon of olive oil, three mini mushrooms here. Got my mushrooms nice and sauteed. Little secret here. What is this? Mushroom soup. And we got a little pepper, a little salt, and there you go guys. Nice cream mushroom sauce for our pork chops. I set this up, finally. So, we'll start off with some nutritious, Delicious apples. I got some pumpkin pie here, which I baked, guys, and just put it in this container so it keeps fresh, right? <laughs> just made these off camera too. <laughs> these are brioche roll swirls. You don't believe me? All right. Pumpkin pasties. Look at these pasties, guys. Look how good they look. Right? Nice, flaky, delicious, warm pumpkin filling inside. I'll bring you guys over here. My corn. Alright, I want to apologize, guys. I forgot to tell you guys, I did not find chocolate frogs. Low key, I called this one place and they're like, yeah, we got chocolate frogs. But then when I went in, I was like, where are the chocolate frogs? Like, oh, I thought you said chocolate rocks. <laughs> so I drove pretty far to find some chocolate rocks. <laughs> Next here, I got some roasted potatoes or roasted carrots actually. See, I'm gonna need somebody to finish my sentence for me when I cook. <laughs> Over here, I got roasted potatoes. Roasted chicken here. Got my orzo, or what I like to call it, rice pasta. Some of the pork chop. Just gonna take my mushroom sauce. Just pour it on there. Do some mash. Go right in the middle, slice it down. It is. Perfectly cooked rack of lamb. What do you guys think? Isn't that beautiful? One rack here, one rack here. There you go. I don't know what it is, but somebody told me in my head. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, guys, this ribbon is long. <laughs> I'm just gonna push it all around. Pine cone. Not pine cone from outside, but pine cone from a store, guys. I got the mail delivery owl there. 
Who needs chocolate frogs when you got the mail delivery owl? <laughs> Last touches for this guy. So it's the butter beer. So some of you guys might hate me for this because I'm just kind of just eyeballing everything. But I got some cream soda here. Nice and clear cream soda. Got some cream. Some butterscotch. Maybe one tablespoon of this. I want to apologize because I know this is not the way how to make butter beer, but I'm pretty sure if you mix all these together, it's gonna taste the same, right? Brown enough. <laughs> there it is. My homemade butter beer. There it is, guys. This is your ultimate Harry Potter or Hogwarts feast made before your eyes. When are you guys gonna come by and grab some? Make sure you bring your wizard hat and your wand as well. <laughs> come through guys, quick time. Let's start this off guys. Look at this feast. <laughs> All right, butter beer. Take the first sip of this. Quick time, guys. Wet the appetite with this. It's got it. Nice. Pump for this. That's delicious. It tastes like, I know this is not the recipe, but this tastes like a vanilla butterscotch shake. That's what it tastes like. And it's delicious. All right, first things first. Shout out to Ron. I always wanted to do this after watching the movie. Guys, here, take a bite of these. Guys, quick time. Let's got it. Nice. Pump this. Mm hmm. That's a must. Mm. The season on this is amazing. Yep. Mm. I need some orzo to balance off that seasoning on this. All right, orzo, quick time, guys. Let's got it. Nice pump for this. Mm hmm. Mm. Have to put some of this sauce on. That's tasty. Even though I cheated a bit. Mmm. Mm hmm. That's amazing. If you ever make the Harry Potter fees once or ever before or any time, you gotta double fist the drum set just once. Mm -hmm. You gotta do it once. What's the point of the Harry Potter feast when you don't pay tribute to the best eater, or not the best eater, the eater in Harry Potter? Ron's always eating. <laughs> why he's my favorite character in there. <laughs> All right. Delicious. POV action, guys. 
This is the pumpkin pasties. Guys, I'll buy this. Quick time. It's got it. Nice. I'll be lying to you if I said I did not try this right out of the oven. I tried it right out of the oven, guys. Mmm. Still very delicious. Mmm. But right out of the oven, it's amazing. Mmm. It's just perfect. You guys see that? You guys probably can't. So you guys are too far. Mmm. some of this pork chop up. Oh man. It's gonna do, it's still warm so it's nice. Just a bit of this. I want the fatty part. Cause you know the fatty part's delicious. Okay, I'm gonna microwave this cause I want it a little hotter. Then I'll give you guys a bite. Up and close POV action guys. A little orzo, a little of that pork, a little of that mushroom. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, nice. POV time. Take the first bite of this. Quick time. Let's got it. Quick time. Nice. Pop for this. Oh yeah. Mmm, 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 mmm. So much flavor is going on right now. <laughs> You gotta love mushroom to love this. Mm. The best part from the pork chop is the fatty part, which I gave you. Mm. Here's the thing, I know you guys are expecting my friends to come this Friday, but I cut them off, guys. <laughs> Just kidding. We're gonna meet up next Friday. Not this Friday, next Friday. Next, our lamb. So all I'm gonna do is cut some of this chop down. Let's do two chops. Take this, go over here. Scoop a little mash. Take that white gravy. Yeah. Pour it on top. Ah, yeah. Goofed it there. A little messy, guys, but POV action, guys. Guys, a bite of this. Quick time. Let's got it. Nice. Pump for this. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mm. A little bit of that mash. Quick time. Nice. That's delicious. Ah. Missing one thing. That mint jelly. <laughs> mm-hmm. Gotta have some mint jelly on this. No key guys. Mm. Low key guys. 
This is an absolutely delicious feast. Mm hmm But in the back of my mind, guys, I'm freaking out right now. I'll show you why. Because of all these dishes right now. Guys, <laughs> I can't sit still. I gotta do these dishes before I eat, guys. I think the corn. Then we gotta do dishes. Quick time. He's got it. Nice. Pop for this. Mmm. Corn is delicious. <laughs> Alright. When you guys come through, I better see a wizard hat on. <laughs> the plates, cups, cutleries on the side. Please take off your shoes. Say hello to Kitty. <laughs> Here's the thing about Kitty. Kitty doesn't go and say hello to you. If you say hello to her first, she'll go up to you and say hello back. That's Kitty. Alright. Just come through and help yourself, alright? Food of life is such a beautiful thing. Don't you think? Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick up one of your food and life's beautiful thing. Share. Or a pop one. Like, share this.